What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to count data in your Pandas data frame. All right guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to count your data in your data frames. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to start to count data in our data frame. So anytime you're doing any sort of data analysis or machine learning or anything, you're almost always going to want to count your data. How many dogs do we have that are brown? How many of them have red hair? How many of them have black hair? How many of them have the name Charlie? We want to know how many of anything almost always we're dealing with. So in this video, I'm going to show you several different ways to count your data and play around with it a little bit. So in the last video, we sort of imported our dog data. We looked at how to grab columns and rows and get basic information about them. But we're going to dive right in now and start counting. So I've got a file. I'm just calling it count underscore data. And I've just imported pandas and numpy and our dog data from the last video. Now I'm using a little bit different dog data this time. You can see there's a lot more records here. It just gives us a little more data to work with. No big deal. You can download this data set from my GitHub if you want. The link will be in the pinned comment section below as always, along with this code if you want it. So, okay, first off, let's count the distinct values in a descending order, which is the default. And we're gonna do that using the value counts function. So let's call my underscore DF, the name of our data frame. And what do we want to count? Let's count the color column. I want to see how many colors there are of different dogs, right? So we just call now the value underscore counts function. And boom, we see there are 371 black dogs. That's the most 309 brown 226. Now you'll notice this is descending. The highest is the first and it goes down from there all the way down to we've got a bunch of ones. And you notice these little dots. That's because we have almost 3000 records. So there's a whole lot of dogs that are just one, like black, orange, and brindle. I don't even know what brindle. Is brindle a color? Are they making that up? Brown and liver colored. Ugh. Anyway, so that's why those dots are there. So, okay, that's descending. How do we get ascending from least to highest? Well, let me just copy this, come down here. Now we can just pass in the ascending equals true flag. And now we get from least to highest. So that's cool. So I should mention here, these are returning counts of actual data. Sometimes your data will be missing. You'll have null values and things like that. How do we return those? Well, let me pull up our data really quickly. And let me just grab, let's sort of delete all of these other records. So this is easy to look at. And you can see right here in dog name, one of these is missing. So if I save this, let's come back here and reload this guy real quick. You can see, right here, NAN, null value, not a number, whatever. And that's this record number 16. And so if we come up here and let me just, and let me grab this guy and run this with just the dog name. You can see NAN or NA is not listed here, right? Because by default, it's not gonna return a count of null values, but we could change that. So let's grab this and set this equal to drop NA equals false. NA stands for not available, I guess, <laughs> whatever. Now we see this NAN is listed and it's counted. There's one dog name that's NAN. So that's cool. So let me head back over here real quick and add back our data and save this again. Come up here and reload this guy. We have all of our data. Okay, so that's cool. That's how to deal with null values. Very interesting. Now let's look at relative frequency or percentage. So up here, we have just a flat out count, right? There are 371 black dogs. But what is that a percentage of? Like, what's the percentage of black dogs or brown dogs or white dogs? Well, we can grab that very easily by grabbing the relative frequency. So let's go my underscore DF. And again, let's grab the color and we want our value counts. Now we can pass in the normalized flag and set that equal to true. So normalizing is basically finding the percentage. And you'll notice these don't look like percentages, but just in your mind, multiply them by 100. So this, is, this would be 13.9% or 11.5%. It's just in decimal form. And if you added all these up, they of course would come to one or 100%. And so we can see this makes sense. Black is the most number of dogs, and that's almost 14%. Brown is the second most number of colored dogs. That's almost 12%. 
and on and on. Very cool. So that's how to grab counts of everything in the column. We can grab just very specific items. If we want to know like how many white dogs are there and that's all we want to know, we can do that. Let's pop this in here. And all we have to do here is just pass in whatever we want. So if we want white, we could see hey, there's 226. And we can confirm that if we come up here to the top and in our very first one here, white 226, sure enough. So that's how to grab one specific thing, very cool. Now that's value counts. That's, we've been doing all value counts up until now. There's a couple other ways you can find counts as well. And they have pluses or minus why you might wanna use them. I'll just show them to you really quick. We can group by size and group by count. So to do that, let's just call my underscore df dot, and we want the group by function. And what do we want to group by? Let's group by color again. And then we want the dot size. And here you can see it's returned kind of all willy nilly, right? Apricot is the first one listed, beige, black. You'll notice this is alphabetical order. So that's kind of interesting. You might want that. We can also, like I said, group by count. And this will give us a very interesting sort of new table here that has each count by each column, right? So there are 15 apricot and breed, dog name and owner, owner zip. Now you would kind of expect these all to be the same, um, and they are, but uh, kind of interesting. And that's count, and that's all there is to that. Now we can also get a count of all columns across all columns, and this is kind of crazy. So let's use the apply function. Let's go my underscore df dot apply. And then what do we want to apply this to? Well, we want to pan to our pandas dot value underscore counts. And now we get everything by everything. So this is the zip codes. And you can see there's a lot of null values in there, but there are four, four dogs in this zip code, five dogs in this zip code, two dogs in this zip code and on and on. Then we come down to the names. There are one with the name Zorro, two with the name Zuzu, and this will continue on through everything. But since we're using so many, we're not seeing a lot of them listed. Maybe if we again got rid of a lot of our data, save this, ran back up to the very top, ran this guy again, came back down here and ran this again, maybe, yeah. You can see this a little bit better. Starts out with zip codes, then it goes to the type, then it goes to the names, you know. This is kind of a, a little bit crazy, but there are maybe sometimes reasons my, why you might wanna just grab all of this and do a quick shot look at it all, and there you go. So there you go, several different ways to count your data. Again, this is very fundamental stuff in data analysis, machine learning, any sort of thing like that. You're always gonna wanna know, hey, how many of whatever thing you have are there? How many dogs that are brown? How many dogs named Charlie are in our data? And on and on. And three very simple ways you could do that. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.